here so I don't know if I'm crazy or if the TikTok girlies are crazy. I don't see any sparkles in here. Please a welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey girl, welcome. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit of everything. So it's going to be a get ready with me. Um, it's also going to be a um, Sephora mini haul. And then um, I'm also going to be reviewing the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation, which I'm super excited um, to try. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. Like, the girlies are snatching it up. I barely could get my color, which is a, I picked up the 25 warm, 25W. This is what it looks like out of the bottle, or out of the box, excuse me. Um, I actually wanna try something because people have been saying that they can see like sparkles on it or in the foundation, which I cannot see, but, I'm gonna turn on my flashlight and see if I can see them. No, I don't see any sparkles in here, so. I don't know if I'm crazy or if the TikTok girlies are crazy. I don't see any sparkles in here. But yeah, it seems to be like a pretty good foundation. It is medium coverage, which um, is a little left from what I typically like. I like a full coverage kind of foundation. That's just me. Um, and usually like medium foundations just don't give me the coverage that I want, which of course it's a medium foundation. It also claims to be luminous, hydrating, um, long wearing, and something else. But I'll put up like a little, I don't know, details or whatever somewhere, maybe here. Um, and then I'll link the foundation below so you guys can go check it out, but let's see. All right, so, um, I'm going to be using the Milk Primer, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I just have this tiny old thing and when I went to Sephora yesterday, they didn't have the big one. So I am going to try again because I really like this and it's crazy y'all, this foundation literally was like the freaking shelf was literally almost empty so i'm gonna get my foundation brush and i'm gonna see and i'm gonna use my mirror because i like am filming in my bathroom but um i'm faced kind of diagonally so i need to use like a mirror to see what i'm doing So I like the way that it's going on. Um, I only used one pump and it looks like it's covering up a lot of my dark marks, which is an A++. So let's see. Also, the color looks really, really good, and I was really nervous about that. So, let's see. Okay, I feel like coverage-wise, it's really good. I don't really see anywhere that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to add another like pump of foundation, but yeah, it looks really good. My skin looks really glowy, which I like that a lot. What right. So, I didn't pick this up yesterday, but I picked this up like a few days ago. And this is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Um, I really like this. I was actually going in for the... 
like the it's another dior concealer um that's what i originally went in for but it was out of stock in the color that i wanted so i didn't get it i'm gonna wait until they have it and then i'm gonna go back because i've been wanting to try that one for quite some time but i don't know tiktok got y'all buying everything like, i can't even go in the store every time i go everything i want is gone i don't know <sighs> y'all stressing me out but it's okay you know it's okay all right so i got my damp sponge and i'm gonna blend it out and y'all this freaking concealer is everything i'm almost scared to say that because i know how y'all get when y'all find something y'all like okay it's out of stock forever <laughs> i had to drive across town to find it but it's okay yes ma'am yeah i freaking love this concealer like it's super full coverage and that's what i like Another little lash going there. My favorite thing about it though is that like it's really full coverage but you do not need to like add a lot. Like you definitely don't need to go all under the eye. You could just kind of like leave it here and then just blend it out really well. But um, yeah. Dior did that like so good. And now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna contour with the same thing I always use. Um, it is the Fenty Beauty little matchstick. Um, and this is in the color Espresso. So I have like learned a new trick. So I used to contour like down here. But now I started con contouring up here. And it's been giving me more of a snatch look. I don't know where I learned that from, I don't remember. But I was watching it and I really liked it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Now, let them take it up my jawline so I can conceal my double chin because a girl be eating, okay? I just had some American Deli before I recorded this video. Like, Food is so good, but I'm really about to stop eating like that because it's countdown to my birthday and I want to look a little snatched, you know, a little snatched. So I gotta stop eating like I've been eating. But now that it's time to blend out my cream contour i can show you guys what else i got from sephora so i have been wanting to get this for a long time i've been going into sephora telling myself i didn't need it making up every excuse not to buy it um and then i went in like okay i'm gonna get the mini but they didn't have the mini and then i just kept seeing like the tall one, you know, all over Sephora, everywhere I went. So I was like, you know what? This is a sign from God. Let me go ahead and buy it. So, um, if you guys don't know what this is, it's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I don't know what's up with my mouth. Like, oh my God. Um, so, we're going to see what it's, what it's talking about. So, I like to spray setting spray on my brush before I blend out my concealer or my, you know, contour. So I'm gonna spray some on my brush and then we're gonna see. You see how that just makes me look more snatched? Like, I don't know. But we're gonna finish one of those out. And I don't know, like, I feel like my cream contour is blending out easier. 
I don't know if it's a spray or what, but it's definitely. Go see. Maybe I'm just being dramatic or crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is make some poses while I'm doing makeup. I don't know why I do that, y'all. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to blend out the nose. Okay, so let's do that. No, nah, y'all, it is the spray. Because usually when I try to blend out my nose, it looks a wee bit crazy at first. And I just feel like this is blending out the product really nicely like y'all see okay. I know y'all see it so boom it's we're looking good okay so now I'm gonna go in with my next concealer Dang, don't y'all hate when y'all look up for something y'all makeup bag and it just disappears? Like, baby, I just had you two seconds ago. Where did you go? Why did you leave? Oh, there it is. Okay. But this is the KVD <laughs> concealer. I forget the actual, like, product name, but um, this is in the color tan 162. These letters are tiny and I'm blind, so. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And I just like this to stay in the corner because I like a really bright, whatever that is, you know, this. So we're gonna keep that in the corner. I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose to brighten it up just to tie it all together, you know. And you know, some here. Boom. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm going to use the same brush or the same sponge that I used to blend out the first concealer to blend out this one. For some reason, I always start on my lip. I don't know why. <laughs> It's just brightening it up, okay? It's like, it was snatched before, but now it's like, you know. Okay. And I try to keep it like in the same spot. Um, a trick that helps me when I notice that it's too, like the coverage is different on one side. Usually the coverage is heavy over here because I always start on the side for some weird reason. But when I feel like the coverage is like too heavy, I have to like wipe some off of my um, sponge. That's pretty typical. Like if you do one space, another space, when you do that space, it's going to have like product on there. So. And one thing about this concealer is it dries down really fast so you can't be like putting it on and then thinking that you're gonna go do something else like it will be stuck but I like that so And then I just like to take the concealer on my nose higher just a little bit. I don't want to put too much of an emphasis on my forehead, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to fix my nose because I did mess it up <laughs> just a little bit, but it's all good.
all right so and now i'm going to take dang, oh my setting powder um i love the setting powder i want to try the huda beauty one but they were out of stock as usual every time i go out of stock um so i think i'm just gonna start ordering stuff online because i'm really tired of driving all the way to the mall just to find out sephora doesn't have what i need and then pat about it on the way home <laughs> so i'm just gonna make sure there's no creasing And I like I learned this new trick too. So I take a little bit of setting powder. I'm supposed to use press powder, but I the press powder I was looking for didn't have my color. So that's all good. So I'm gonna just take a little bit and set that and press that in. And then Do the same on the other side. But when the powder that I want is back in stock, best believe I'm gonna go pick it up. Dang, like I need alerts or something. We're gonna set our face. And I'm gonna do the other side. And I like to go a little low with my powder, like on my cheek. Cause my cheeks are really like where I get the oiliest, so I like to just set that in there. And then with my forehead, I don't like putting a lot of powder on there anymore. So I'm just gonna do the same thing I did under my eyes. Just put a little bit right there. Just cause I get a little creasing right here. Boom. And then now I'm going to set my nose. That was almost a straight line, so. <laughs> okay. And then We're gonna take my favorite um, contour powder or palette. And my favorite brush to set it with. And we're just gonna pat that in there. I've been using this forever. I honestly kinda wanna get another one just because I'm addicted to buying makeup. But. I haven't been able to find one that I really like yet. So, we staying. Staying. I don't know what my eyes doing. Okay. So, like I said, I'm gonna be a little higher than where I used to contour. I feel like that just looks so much better. Like, she cute. She snatched. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put some under here cause again, I wanna snatch that double chin just a little bit. It's just a light minor double chin, you know, but it's okay. 
because she's still cute okay and then now i'm gonna go back in with the same brush and then i'm gonna set my nose All right, so now we're gonna add blush. Y'all, I literally love blush. Like, I don't know what my addiction is with blush, but I add so much. <laughs> like, it's so pretty. Like, come on now. I need some more. <laughs> I have a real addiction to blush, y'all. But it's okay. Okay. Dang, I feel like I added more on this side. Maybe not. Okay, let me stop before I turn pink. I need some of my nose, too, which I think. Yep. Okay. Boom. A little bit right there. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. I'm done. But um, <laughs> I also picked up... Um, the one product that I wanted from Huda Beauty that I was able to find, which is, let me get it out the box, because I never even opened it. I went to Sephora and I came home and I didn't even open anything. That took so much strength because usually I like to open stuff once I get it. <laughs> but this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty, um, the pressed powder. It looks a little light and it also looks a little light on camera. Um, so I'm a little nervous, but when I tried it, like, first of all, ugh, like butter. I'm a little scared because I just beat the F out of my face and I don't want to have to not like it and be mad, but it's okay. It's okay. Thing out. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so I think we're good. So I'm just trying to set the bottom half of my face before I put more setting powder on because I feel like when it's not set with a pressed powder, it just be looking, you know, too harsh. So I'm going to snatch the up okay <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some on this side and I'm gonna just let that sit for a little bit dang that looks hella uneven but it's okay boom and then now I'm going to take the setting spray, spray a little bit on my brush, and then I'm just going to press that in to melt the powder a little bit into my skin. I like this spray. It's nice. So I want the brightness here, 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 and here. So I'm not gonna put any pressed powder there. Like I don't wanna lose that by trying to darken it up, you know? So, I need some more blush, don't I? Yep, boom, 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 okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start brushing away this powder. Okay, and then before that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. Pretty. 
pre. And if y'all see me blinking, it's because something's in my eye. And I couldn't find it, so I guess I gotta stay there until I'm done with my makeup. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Period. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my liner. So now I get to show you guys the new lipstick that I got. So this is Makeup by Mario. Um, it's the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. And I picked up the color Nude Suede. So we're gonna see. So, I feel like it's a little mobby, if that's the word. But it looks all right. Yeah, it's a little pinkier than I like. I guess that's what I'm looking for, pink. But it's still pretty. Not bad. I don't know if this is matte. I didn't really look when I picked it up. I just knew I needed some more lipstick. It's pretty. Oh dang, my eyes watering. See, you know, whatever is in my eye is literally praying for my downfall. Like, come on now, bro. This is like my third time crying. But the good thing is, the makeup didn't move. Okay. It didn't move. Another setting spray. This is the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I like it. I got the small one, but I should got the big one. But I don't know what I was thinking. So. Well, right. Y'all right. I do need some more blush. <laughs> I'm insane. Okay. As far as my review for the foundation, um, I think it's a really good foundation. Um, the coverage is great. It is hydrating. It is luminous. Um, I'm not like a super harsh foundation critic, um, but I would definitely recommend you guys go purchase this. Um, like I said, I'm usually a full coverage girl, but it did really good with the coverage being neat in coverage. So I definitely recommend it. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed recording it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.